Imagine this, every second our sun's core converts an astounding 600 million tons of hydrogen into 595 million tons of helium in a process called nuclear fusion. During this process, the 5 million tons difference is converted to energy. This colossal amount of energy that our sun produces in the blink of an eye is equivalent to 1 billion megaton hydrogen bombs, more than enough to provide our entire planet with electricity for at least 2 million years. This amazing fact has led scientists in the past few decades to contemplate the creation of a machine that can create, sustain, and contain nuclear fusion. A machine that can supply the entire world with endless green, almost free electricity. This was a dream, and now it is almost a reality, as the race to create such a magnificent machine has led to breakthroughs that are going to change humanity and planet Earth for the better forever. What is nuclear fusion and its insane advantages? What is the Eider Tokamak device? How are they building it? And how will this alien machine actually work? Going through Provence in southern France is an amazing experience. The area is known for its rich culture, serene atmosphere, endless rolling vineyards, breathtaking fields of lavender, gorgeous olive groves, fine wines, and idyllic historical villages. However, on some occasions, you will find semi-trailers slowly creeping along deserted roads, ferrying enormous and mysterious looking objects through the Provençal countryside. The loads are so large, they occupy both lanes, and the drivers struggle to maneuver around corners and in forested areas. These objects are massive components headed for one of the biggest science experiments on the planet, the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, or ITER Tokamak. Hidden in an isolated, heavily secured area, Far behind the hills and rows of fences, a consortium of scientists from around the world are working on creating a mini sun core right here on Earth. The goal of this $22 billion mega project and counting is to create the ultimate machine, dubbed the Tokamak device, in which nuclear fusion can safely take place while producing electricity at an industrial scale that can power not just nations, but eventually the entire planet. I will not bore you too much with what nuclear fusion is. So here is the summary. Nuclear fusion is a cosmic phenomenon because it is the energy source of the sun and stars. Because of it, our sun exists and thus life too. But without it, the whole universe would be a very different place that is unimaginable and quite dark. In the tremendous heat and gravity at the core of stellar bodies, hydrogen nuclei collide, fuse into heavier helium atoms, and release unimaginable amounts of energy in the process. In some cases, enough to produce entire solar systems, or as it happened in the early universe when population three stars existed, give birth to galaxies and or black holes. After decades of research, the scientific community agreed that the most efficient fusion reaction in the laboratory setting is the reaction between two hydrogen isotopes, deuterium, D, and tritium, T, as the DT fusion reaction produces the highest energy gain at the lowest temperatures. This might sound like a walk in the park to you since nuclear reactors can do all sorts of stuff that blow the mind. However, to achieve fusion in a laboratory is truly insane, and difficult conditions have to be fulfilled. For example, fusion occurs at the temperature of 150 million degrees Celsius, and enough plasma particle density has to be achieved to increase the likelihood that collisions take place. Additionally, there is also the issue of sufficient confinement time, meaning you need to hold the produced plasma, which has a propensity to expand within a defined volume. In case you do not know what plasma is, it is simply the fourth state matter. The first three are gas, liquid, and solid. The only way to confine and control fusion plasma in a tokamak device or fusion reactor is via the use of extremely rather ridiculously powerful magnetic fields. Let's now talk about the advantages of fusion and then move to detail the awesome stuff, the ITIR facilities and the tokamak device. The world needs electricity and lots of it. In fact, 73.2% of CO2 emissions come from electricity generation. 
So it is more urgent than ever to solve the problem once and for good. This is why billions are invested in fusion reactors. These reactors provide an abundance of energy because fusing atoms together in a controlled way releases nearly 4 million times more energy than a chemical reaction such as the burning of coal, oil, or gas, and four times as much as nuclear fission reactions at equal mass. Fusion reactors mean a steady prolonged supply of energy without interruption and harmful emissions like carbon dioxide or other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Nuclear fusion reactors produce no high activity, long-lived nuclear waste, and their nuclear waste is also recyclable. The technology cannot be weaponized since no fissile materials such as uranium are used, hence no nuclear weapons. Nothing can go wrong even if a nuke hits a fusion reactor because even the slightest disturbance to the plasma causes it to cool down within seconds and reactions stop almost immediately. So no Chernobyls and Fukushimas. The predicted cost of a fusion reactor is also similar to that of a nuclear reactor. Hence, it is financially feasible. Let's now take a look at the International Experimental Thermonuclear Reactor Facilities. The ITER Tokamak facility is located on a 103-acre site in Provence, south of France. Construction began in 2010, and the facility is expected to be ready for the first run in 2024. The structures have been ready since 2020, however. The 1 million plus components that make up the Tokamak machine and associated systems are still being assembled. 39 buildings and technical areas house the ITER Tokamak and its plant systems. The unique Tokamak components are assembled in the adjacent assembly hall. Other auxiliary buildings in the vicinity of the Tokamak building include cooling towers, electrical installations, a control room, facilities for the management of waste, and the cryogenics plant that will provide liquid helium to cool the ITER magnets. The beating heart of the ITER facility is the Tokamak complex, a nuclear-rated structure of reinforced concrete that is 80 meters high, 120 meters long, and 80 meters wide. A majestic 400, 000 ton structure that unites the Tokamak, Diagnostic, and Tritium buildings. A unique 3.2 meters thick bioshield was also constructed to house the Tokamak machine. It is a circular structure in the center of the Tokamak building that forms the six-story tall machine pit, which is pierced all around by openings for systems and equipment. So this leads us to wonder, how will this machine, or rather mini star work? The heart of the Tokamak reactor or machine is a donut-shaped vacuum chamber, just like the one you see in the movies such as Terminator Genesis. Inside this chamber, extreme heat and pressure are used to turn gaseous hydrogen fuel into plasma, like a super hot electrically charged gas. This plasma provides the environment in which light elements can fuse and yield energy. To control or rather confine the charged particles of the plasma, huge powerful magnetic coils around the vessel are used. This keeps the plasma from interacting with the walls of the reactor. To kickstart the reaction, air and impurities are first evacuated from the vacuum chamber. Next, the magnet systems that will help confine and control the plasma are charged up and the gaseous fuel is introduced. As a powerful electrical current is run through the vessel, the gas breaks down electrically, becomes ionized, and forms a plasma. Then the plasma particles become energized and collide and become very hot. Additional heat is also introduced via auxiliary heating methods to help bring the plasma to fusion temperatures between 150 and 300 million degrees Celsius. As a result, particles energized to such a degree can overcome their natural electromagnetic repulsion on collision to fuse, releasing huge amounts of energy in a process that can last as long as the equipment can endure and last. This energy, or rather heat, is then captured by a unique system in the vessel's walls and is used to turn water into super hot steam that powers turbines that generate electricity, similar to how conventional nuclear reactors work. Once completed, ITER will be the world's largest tokamak, and if proven successful, the world will change forever. Feel free to let us know your thoughts about this amazing project and technology, and please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Thank you.